This is a quick tip for Windows and how to completely format your hard drive, removing all the partitions, including the OEM ones and any protected partitions. This is particularly useful if you've just taken a hard drive out of an old uh, laptop or a desktop and uh, it was used for the operating system because it's very likely there'll be a lot of partitions on there you can't delete. So the first thing to do is obviously plug your disk in. I'm using uh, a USB caddy, you can do it however you want. So I'm going to push the Windows key on my keyboard and start typing the word part. And then I'm going to click here where it says create and format hard disk partitions. Click yes. And now this is basically going to show the disks connected to my computer at the minute. I've got a few externals. I've got one external, sorry, and two internals here. And this drive, I know for certain, is the drive I've inserted. Firstly, I can see that it's got the several partitions. You can normally delete partitions by just right-clicking and saying delete volume. But and in the case of this partition here, there's no option and uh, I want to delete that, I want to wipe the whole lot in one go. Um, so basically the way to do this is I'm going to control, um, sorry, I'm going to right click on the Windows icon, I'm going to go to Command Prompt Admin and click yes and then I'm going to type in here disk part, push enter, then I'm going to type list, oops, list disk and it's giving me a list of my disks. I can see here that disk 2, I know that this is the one, I know this is the right size. What we're about to do here will wipe an entire hard drive, so be 100% certain and obviously eject any disks that you're not using just to make it a bit safer. But I can see here that it's disk 2 there. I know it's disk 2 here. It's the same, it's the file size I'm expecting. So I'm going to, oops, I'm going to type in here select disk 2. And, it, and now if I do list disk again, I can see there's a little star there, so I know that that's the disk selected. And this is definitely the right size, so now I'm going to type clean and push enter. It's going to take a little while. This is basically completely wiping the disk, that was quite quick actually. And now you can see it's actually updated here. So I can see that this disk now has nothing allocated to it. So now I'm going to create, in fact it, sh it should probably ask me to format the disk. Let me just open that up again. Part. Yep. Here we go. Right, so the disk now, I've completely wiped it and, the, and obviously it needs to have some sort of um, file system on it. Um, this is definitely the disk I've formatted. I'm personally going to go with this GPT. It's the more modern, slightly better performing um, partition style. MBR, you you pretty much only use that with win like Windows 7 32-bit and older 32-bit systems and it's it's only really applies to when you're installing an operating system on it so if you're just going to wipe a disk and you're going to use it for storage which I am then it doesn't make any difference anyway so I'm just going to go with GPT and it shouldn't take long I'll just make this a bit bigger so now I can create a new volume on this disk and it should pick the exact size. If you want to do lots of partitions here, you can start messing about, but I don't want that, so just click next. I'm going to give it a drive layer of Q because I'm using this in with some other disks, um, so I'm happy with that. And I'm going to do it as NTFS because it's pretty much the best um, option. You can go with XFAT, but that really only is suited to um, memory sticks and stuff like that. And I'm going to just give it a name of 500 gigabytes for now and click next and finish and it shouldn't take long there we go that's it so my hard drive is completely formatted now I've got all the partitions out of the way and that's it really um, hopefully this tip has been useful to you if it has please give me a thumbs up or if you'd like to leave a comment please do that and that's about it thanks for watching